guys. So it's been a hot minute since I've done any kind of video footage recording at all and I totally apologize for that. Things have just been super, super crazy. Not going to go into a big update right this minute. Um, however, just going to talk a little bit about my workout that I'm doing today. I'm actually doing it at home, um, as you can see. I was going to head over to Orange Theory and work out, but it started pouring and hailing, so I decided to turn around and go back home. Now, I could have just said, screw it, I'm not going to work out today, but I'm not working as much today and knew that I wouldn't have as much energy tomorrow, so decided that today had to happen. So, just want to show you guys how my workout, workout setup is at home. I don't have anything super fancy. I have an elliptical. Um, it's a pretty cheap one. I think I have like 300 bucks on Amazon. Um, nothing super fancy, but it does a trick. Gets you to break a sweat. And then I just have two kettlebells. I have a 25 and a 35 pound weight. A couple of resistance bands. I don't have those with me right now. Um, and that's literally just in our guest room in our house. So, one way that keeps me super motivated working out at home is YouTube videos. So I look them up on the TV so they're on a big screen rather than my phone and I just like to watch YouTube videos while I am doing my weights. So I will put a picture here or a short video clip of my workout that I do at home um, so that if anyone wants to they can do an at home workout today or in the future. So hang tight. Alright guys so just finished my workout probably took me about 30 minutes to go through this. Um, I started out with kettlebell sumo squats for a minute and just as many reps as I could. Um, one arm kettlebell press, I did 10 each because I do have a heavier kettlebell, my 25 pound weight and there's no way that I could have done that for a minute. <laughs> um, kettlebell swings, two arms for a minute. I did push ups for a minute. I did take breaks on the push ups, so take breaks if you need to. Um, one arm chest press, I tried to do that. Um, realizing that I probably shouldn't lay on my back anymore. Um, so I ended up just doing like an incline. I leaned up against the couch and just made sure I supported my core and, and did that. So I did 10 each. And then I finished with curtsy lunges and did 30 seconds each side. Ended up being about 10 to 12 reps each time. And I did this three times um, just because this is my third day in a row working out and I'm a little bit tired and I don't want to wear myself out too much. So. I'm still huffing and puffing, as you can tell. But anywhere from three to four times would be an awesome workout here. Um, and just like a little butt kicker. So, give it a shot. All right, guys. So, done with my workout. And I did a quick clip on what I did. So, feel free to look up any of those exercises, either like on bodybuilder.com or on YouTube. Um, or just to send me a quick message if you have a question about it. And I can send you a quick video. Um, I know this video quality is not the greatest. I'm still using my old iPhone to do it. And I really want to get a tripod so that I can actually show you some exercises and some workout stuff. So we'll get there. It's just a work in progress. So be patient with me. Um, just hanging out, like I said. Got the pooch here. Always needing attention. And then there's my Pro-Yo bowl. It doesn't look as delicious as the picture. Uh, but check out my picture on Snapchat. I also am posting it on Instagram. It was amazing. Uh, one secret little ingredient about the Proyo Bowl is I added some vanilla extract to it. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. It makes the vanilla taste so much stronger and so much better. So it's really, really good. Last thing, I just want to do a quick little like pregnancy update. Um, I know I'm trying to keep these videos a lot shorter so that um, they're more entertaining for you guys to watch. So I'm going to make this short and sweet, um, essentially a recap for like my nutrition for, for when I'm pregnant because everybody wants to know what they need to do and frankly there's not a lot of information out there on the internet when you try to search for it. I've been researching and looking at a lot of stuff and it's been really hard to find any information about it. So essentially um, my first trimester I was tracking my food when I got pregnant, I was carb cycling. I continued that for probably like the first six to seven weeks or so. Um, and it was fine. It was great. My low carb days weren't super low. I don't remember off the top of my head what my macros were. Otherwise, I would let you know. Um, about week seven to eight, I started having a lot of morning sickness. I didn't actually, like, throw up, get sick. But I just, I didn't, I never felt really good. I always was kind of nauseous, like, consistently. And just, there were so many foods that just didn't sound good. And I didn't really want to force myself to eat anything that I didn't want. 
Um, so it kind of just went off tracking for a while. I didn't track for probably, oh gosh, I don't remember when I started. Actually, I started tracking right before I went to Fargo to watch Laura in her competition. And I think at that point I was about 19 weeks pregnant, 18, 19 weeks. Um, so I started tracking again. Actually, no, it was way earlier than that. I think it was like 15 or 16. Regardless, I was into my second trimester already, 15, 16, somewhere in there, weeks. And I was kind of gaining weight and I wasn't super happy with it. I mean, I know weight gain is part of the process, but it was just reality check. I was really starting to gain a little bit of extra weight and, and I was really discouraged. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get back on the tracking weight gain. So I decided to start tracking my macros again. And um, all the research that I had done said that in your second trimester, you want to increase your calorie intake by about 350 calories. So, and those of you that know me know that I track my macros and not necessarily my calories. But from a calorie intake that I was at, I was averaging like 14 to 1500 depending on my high and low carb days before when I was actually tracking. So I just took that average between the two and I added 350 extra calories and then essentially figured out my macros from there. So I guess I kind of did start tracking calories, but I really did a macro split from calories. I think I was about, um, I was just shy of 1,700 calories. It was 1,690. Um, and then my macro split was really close to like, four, it was like 40, 42% carbs, um, about 30-ish percent protein, maybe a little bit more, and then around 25 to 30% fats. So my macros were... Um, I was shooting for 180 grams of carbs a day, 50 grams of fat, and 130 grams of protein. At that time, protein was not my friend. I did not like protein. I didn't like chicken. I didn't really like a lot of meats. Um, eggs were like the only thing that I could really eat with protein in them. And so I kept my, my protein levels pretty low because I wasn't really eating a lot of protein. Um, I followed those macros. I would say about 75% of the time. Um, I'm not super strict with myself right now because I'm not trying to be in super great shape or lean or anything like that. I just wanna try to control my weight gain. So I did those macros from about week 15 to 16 up until just this last week. So that was about 12 weeks or so that I've been, 12, 13 weeks that I've been on this particular macro split. I've been feeling really good. I've been feeling really energized. Some days I'm just ravishly hungry. Other days I'm not. It depends. It really depends on if I'm if I work out or not too. I'll do another video about workouts. Um, so third trimester just started a week and a half ago, and they recommend increasing calories to 500 calories above your typical calorie intake. Now you could take that one of two ways. You could say, oh, I'm going to increase my calories by 500 from where I'm at now, from the 350 increase, or I can increase my calories by 500 from the beginning. I'm starting with 500 from the beginning because I think jumping up by 500 calories, whew, like you're going to put on some, some poundage there. So I just added about an extra 120 to 150 calories in. So my macros now are going to be about 190 to 195, so I upped my carbs about 10 to 15 grams. My protein I bumped up about 10 grams as well, um, to about 140, 145. And then fats I kept relatively the same. I added like two grams of fat, so I did like 52. Um, I was always going over my protein goal now because I'm much better with eating more protein and I'm incorporating more protein powder and all sorts of lean meats and things like that. So I'm getting more protein, figured I might as well jump that uh, macro goal up anyways, and then just increase the carbs and protein, or excuse me, carbs and fats a little bit just to get a little extra uh, calorie intake. Kind of prep myself for when I start breastfeeding. Um, you definitely burn a ton of calories breastfeeding, and I want to make sure that I'm consuming enough calories too. That way then after um, I have the baby and I start exercising again uh, to try to lose the weight, I can start at a high enough calorie intake where when I start cutting, I don't have to cut super, super low, hopefully, to see those results and lose that baby weight that I want to lose. So really short, quick explanation about what my macros were before, sort of, where they were second trimester and now where they are for third trimester. As far as the weight gain goes, 
in 30 seconds or less. So just to give you guys a little idea as far as where my weight gain is in pregnancy, my pre-pregnancy weight, I have been weighing myself at home and at the gym and then also at the doctor. Um, and I don't exactly remember what I weighed in at when I started at home. I'd have to look back. But I know at the doctor I weighed in at 149 at my very first appointment. Um, and these all have been in the afternoon, so I know they're a little bit higher than like my morning weight, but I mean, regardless, I'm consistent. I'm weighing in in the afternoon every time I go to the doctor. So it was 149 to start with pre-pregnancy or right when I found out I was pregnant. And last appointment was about a week, two weeks ago now, and I weighed in at 167. So I am up 18 pounds from the beginning um, and just kind of slowly, steadily increasing um, as I go a couple weeks here and there I'll just kind of plateau and stay at the same weight and then jump up like two pounds or something like that one week um either way as long as I'm averaging a weight gain of about one pound per week I'm okay with that so just to give you a heads up where I'm at for weight gain where I'm at for macros and all that good stuff we'll talk about workouts um coming soon so any questions let me know